guys, welcome back. Um, sorry for my moods. But, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to build this really cute Bloxburg starter house. The value is 18511 without the car. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go to give you a little tour. It is a one bedroom, one bath. It's a starter house, like I said. But, it has like this little circle driveway. Sidewalk right here. Um, there will be a part two for the interior, probably out soon, but this is the interior. Really cute and cozy. We have just some flowers. There's no backyard, so I'm not going to show you the back. But, and it's just like a really cute little yard. It could, you can add some more gardening, gardening, you can decorate it. I pretty much left the decorating to you, but in the interior video, I will do more of the gardening, because I don't know why, but I consider that as the interior, but yeah. So, really quickly, let me go ahead and get the layout ready, then I will tell you guys when I am ready. Oh yeah, and also, um, this does require multiple floors, gate pass, but wait, don't leave. If you don't have it yet, don't leave. It's... The only reason it requires that is for this, like, unusable decorative loft, loft thing. And let me go ahead and show you what it would look like without it. It's so cute. Let me show you. So, this is what it looks like without it. Um, it's still really cute. See, it's still, like, really cute. It's not ugly or anything. And it, you can tell that it's still, like, a decorated home. Like, you just... It's not like that one starter who paints their house red. No offense if you did, because I think I did. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, but let me go ahead and get the layout ready, then we can get into the speed build. And I will be talking during the entire part of the speed build, so that way um, you are informed on what is going on during the speed build. So yeah, let me go ahead and get that ready. Okay, so I have the layout ready. This is what it looks like. And in case you're wondering, the like fencing in the beige color is the fencing. I just said it. The like marking in the beige color are the fencing, and the white is the house part. So this is what the first floor looks like, and then the second floor. I know it's kind of hard to see, but. Um, it's like right here and remember you don't have to have that if you don't have the second floor game pass Oops, that's basement. this house does not have basement okay you guys this house does not have a basement okay so let's go ahead and start we are going to start by placing the walls and this was just how we kind of mark where that should be so that's not part of the house so this is the entrance the second put that down then over here would be like where the living area is. Here, and then also make this one like a separate wall right here. Because this is leading into the kitchen in case you want to paint it a different color. And again, this is the kitchen. Then like right here would be the pantry. Okay, let me go ahead and give you an overview of what we just did. Okay, now we're going to go back to the entrance and go this way. This would be the bedroom. Right here. And then this is the entrance to the bedroom right here. So you have like a door and a door. Perfect. And then right here would be the bathroom. Again, don't make this one big wall like I almost did. And I forgot to mark it, but you should have a wall right here for the shower. The continuum wall. Oh yeah, and this house does require advanced placement. So I'm pretty sure that you guys already read the description in the beginning of the video. But yeah, I just didn't, forgot to mention it requires advanced placing. And we are pretty much done with the first floor with the walls. So let me go ahead and give you an overview of what it looks like. Five, four, 
three, two, one. And so I just wanted to give a quick reminder, YouTube does offer an option to slow down the videos, but then my voice would be really weird, but yeah. Going upstairs, there's just like that unusable loft. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about that. Okay, I'm so sorry about the background noise. That's a clock that I have. Um, yeah, it should be done pretty soon. Anyways, mm, build doors. And then this is where the first door will go. And this will be the color scheme for the doors. Light, bright, then it can either be purple, pink, or green. But I put it as green. Or actually, that's my little seashell. This is my little seashell. But yeah. That's green. I put X and I'm going to paint that again. And then the door knob should be lit. And then going inside, it should just be this traditional door. It should go right here. And you can just go ahead and auto paint that because it is the exact same color. And then, I'm sorry. Then we should have like one more door. The bathroom door. Oh yeah, and then we also have one more. Oops, okay, I made a mistake on the kitchen down this one second. I made like a big mistake on the kitchen. So, I should like this. There we go. Now that looks better. That looks like the kitchen I designed. And then we should have a sliding door right here, this barn sliding door. And this one is going to be painted not the same color. So it's going to be white. It's going to be linen. And we're going to paint this pink. Seashell. Seashell. There we go. Okay. Now the floors. So the kitchen floor should be just one big floor. Then this floor. Right here is like hallway floor. And then the entryway slash living area floor. In case you're wondering why I did it like that, it is because this is going to be a carpet floor. And this is also the dining area. But that's going to be a carpet floor. This is going to be a seashell with this small tile. There we go. And then this is going to be wooden. With the um, plates long. Oops. There we go. And then go ahead and clone the carpet, just auto place it in the bedroom, and then grab the wooden floor and auto place it in the bathroom. Oh yeah, and I forgot one more door. We're not going to need to color this door, this is just going to be a shower door. There we go. Okay, and I think that that's it for the floors and doors. Okay. Okay, now let's go ahead and color the walls. The color scheme for the walls is going to be linen and this linen um, wood. Okay, this linen wood color. There we go. Okay, that is what the color of the walls is going to be. And now for the roof. Follow along carefully. So, 
We're gonna use this Gable Gable. I, out of my like three years of playing Bloxburg, I still do not know how to say that. Still, I don't. Okay, so if I remember, because I did just do this. I did do it like, whenever I was just planning this house out. But I believe it's all right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. No. Yes. There. And that's what that should be like. And don't worry, it won't glitch because we're gonna paint it the same material. And you can probably go ahead and just auto place the rest of the roof. Or actually, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Do not auto place the rest of the roof. It is going to go like this. So this would be one roof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then this one you can auto place. That's what that looks like. I believe that that is correct. If it's not, just go check out the beginning of the video. Because I have forgot. I am sorry. But it's, I forgot. But, um. And then right here. This one. I believe that this is correct. Okay, then you can just auto place this roof on the top. And then you, you want to lower it then. Okay, and, and then paint the, the side of it linen with the plank, the horizontal planks. And then white concrete. White with concrete material. And then go paint all the roofs that color. Okay. So we're pretty much done with the house. Now we only have to do one thing. Put the pillars. Paint. Then we're going to go ahead and paint it white with the smooth plastic material and clone it and then place it basically on every corner. there but that's not the way I did it. I kind of marked out the designated drive area and then like, the place that you could drive over. So like this would be the color that it comes in with the concrete chair. Shift paint. Then I clone this one and then just paint it white. There we go. Painted it white. For right here, floors, and then go up here. There we go, and then it would go right here. There we go, with the grass material. Be this one, oops, not white. Maybe that one with this grass, I believe. No, with that grass. Okay, yeah, we'll just say that grass. If not right, I'm sorry. And then I do care about it. Sorry, I'm sorry. The fences. So I put the grand hedge. Like this on the sides and all that everywhere. Head with the tall wooden fence. Like 
Canada with the linen on the tall wooden hoops. Then I just left those ones that come in. Then I put the classic hanging white fence, fence fencing area over right here, over the one, the um, tall one there, and just put it right here before we go into the drive. Then I put it all the way down. Mm -hmm. And then I just put this fencing right here. Like so. Okay. And then I put the just a few trees here and there. I'll go ahead and just do the gardening sign. And put it right here. And this is the starter house, so if you don't have this unlocked, this makes sense. But I'm just going to go ahead and add this tree because I am going to use this in some of my videos. This house, so yeah. And then these trees are not supposed to be even, so that. Right up. And then I'm going to go ahead and add like an apple tree right here. Okay. And then the cactus thing um blossom cactus i just added a few just for extra detail i added some of these daisies and then i the last flower i added was this one there we go and then we just, I forgot about something, the windows. I added these windows. So like this window, I put it right here. Where is my heart handle? I just put two together. Then I put two together. I just put one right here. Then I put one right here. basically just randomly place them and then I normally just randomly place the windows for right now and then I adjust them so I will probably adjust them in the interior video so yeah and that's gonna be it for today guys if it was a little over the budget that makes sense because it's normally not exactly like 18,511 because I just added some windows here and there. I don't remember where I put the original windows. This was basically just a layout. But like this tree, this tree, it is a starter house. So like I said, you're probably a starter. But yeah, so you probably don't have that level of gardening unlocked, which is okay. Um, I will make a video on uh, tutorials, two more tutorials on houses and everything. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!